your fingernails. Gross. It's giving poor toodles. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons. Like, I gotta talk about this one, man. Uh, interesting backstage segment, man. Uh, let me set up the scene here. So, Fallon Henley was being a leader of the locker room and giving the rookies advice on certain things. Uh, and I actually liked Fallon Henley being in that, in that position because her character would be someone that's more of like a leader type. Like, you see her character when she's with Brooks Jensen and Josh Briggs. She always says, like, she's the leader of that, that family, uh, the voice of reasoning and stuff like that. And so she was talking about how important this breakout tournament is. Now, some of the now, ironically, they should have actually did this segment two weeks ago because some of those girls are now out of the breakout tournament. But this is why I think too the breakout tournament should have been a lot bigger than what it was. Like I'm talking about um the amount of um wrestlers that they had involved in it. Like I think it should have been 16 instead of eight. It should have been like 16 wrestlers, and they really took their time. On going through the whole bracket and all that stuff. Like, we should have had, like, four rounds. You know, the opening round, you got basically like an NBA playoffs with the quarterfinals and the opening round. So, you have eight matches in the quarterfinals. Then you go to the semifinals, which is four. Then you go to, like, maybe they'll call that the next round. The semi I don't know what they'll call the next round because we got conferences in pro sports. So, that they usually call it the conference finals. And uh, when you get to the last four, but they could have called it um, the final four or whatever, do college basketball, call it college, uh, final four, and then the, then the championship. So, or you know, the final or the breakout tournament. I think they should have did that because she was talking to so in the background, I, okay, it was Danny Palmer next to Carmen Petrovic. In the background, it's the two heels, Ariana Grace and Izzy Dane. And then on the side of them, I think it was Kalani Jordan and Brimley Reese, I believe. Yeah, I think because it, it was just six of them. So they had like Jada Parker or Lola Vice in there. But Lola Vice didn't need to really be in there because she's kind of an older veteran. Danny Palmer's an older veteran too, but I mean, not veteran, but older rookie. Like they're coming up on their first year in the company uh, in NXT. So, um,. But, yeah, I, I like this speech because, like I said, it showed Fallon Henley as a bit of a, a locker room leader. So, And I just love the locker room segments on NXT. It gives you that high school, college vibe to it. You know what I mean? Uh, and stuff like that. So, I, I, like I said, I just liked it. I like the girls' outfits in this segment as well. I, I loved it. And then this segment was more about who came into the room. So, Tiffany Stratton comes into the room. So, we saw last week Tiffany Stratton actually starting to get into it with Fallon Henley. There was a segment where all the girls were thanking Oscar and being appreciative of Oscar being there. And then the last two were Fallon Henley and Tiffany Stratton. Now, I didn't go over this segment last week, but I knew I had time to go over it in a future week. So I, and plus, I just didn't have time to make that many videos. So, um, But this week, I wanted to get into it a little bit more. So, Tiffany came in and bragged about uh, making the uh, finals tournament. And then she called, she been disrespecting uh, Fallon Hard, calling her uh, Fallon Huntley <laughs> instead of Fallon Henley. She been really, like, the dynamic between her and Tiffany Stratton is that Tiffany is, is acting like the stuck-up, more the stuck-up white girl that's poking fun at the poor white girl, the the the... The 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 uh, trailer park type of country farmer type girl uh, aspect, uh, southern girl type aspect, which is Fallon Henley's character, and so they they're doing that dynamic, you know, basically rich versus poor, and so you know she's she's talking about Huntley like she be hunting all the time and shit like that. That shit is funny, man. Uh, and then uh, Tiffany said Huntley is a better name for her, right? So Stratton joked about Henley. Losing to her in last year's tournament as well as being uh, poor due to growing up on a farm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I love it. When, when Tiffany Stratton's character is like this, it's, 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 it's at its best, bro. 
it's at its best, bro. And what was interesting with the dynamic, so we got about four baby faces in the room. Again, Danny Palmer, Carmen Petrovic, uh, Brinley Reese, and Kalani Jordan. In the background were the two heels, Ariana Grace and Izzy Dane. And so if you pay attention, like rewatch this scene when you get a chance. Rewatch the scene and see everybody expression in the room, especially the heels. Ariana Grace and Fallon Henley were not trying to listen to Fallon Henley the whole time. I saw Izzy Dane rolling her ass and stuff like that. But then when Tiffany Stratton, Tiffany, they were kind of agreeing more with Tiffany Stratton because they're just like Tiffany Stratton almost. They think they're better than everybody else and stuff like that, especially Ariana Grace. So I love that dynamic there. And it, it, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. This is why I'm loving what they're doing with Tatum Paxley and Izzy Dane. Because I think they got something there. I'm going to have to talk about that at level up, man. I'm going to have to talk about that at level up. But uh, I love this segment, man. So we obviously going to have a Fallon he uh, Hanley versus Tiffany Stratton beef here. It's going to be Tiffany Stratton's first non-title beef that she's had in a while. So we're going to see how she does with this, man. Uh, should be pretty interesting. But go on ahead and give me your thoughts on this. Give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one after news delight.